Hello, Matt Lurie here. And we're gonna show you some stuff about the new Pro R we've been working on. So this happens to be a 22 model, so it's not quite the newest one, being as we are in 24. But this is our most sold kit we have to date. So this is a premium kit. This utilizes a straight through exhaust to get as much power as we can get out of it. We have the paper air filter hiding inside here. And that also goes back up to the stock frog skin. So if you really want to sink in the water, you can seal that box and sink her in the water, but we don't do that. Over here you have the catch can. We've been running this thing for most of the day. As you can see, the filter is still pretty clean, so the catch can is doing its job. We have a nice aluminum air intake for the clutch there. Down in the filter area, we have oil pressure sensor. So you know what that means. For the guys that have lost oil pressure and blown your motors up, the standalone will shut the motor off if it goes below a set threshold in oil pressure. As you can see, we use Paul Yall's injectors there from Injector Dynamics. Stock coils, fan tucks in there, right just so the box can fit in. Box is out for viewing. That sensor is for the dyno, so that comes out. That's just a log while we're dynoing. Otherwise, you can see everything else is in stock function, including the dash. Intercooler back there. Windows wide open. Even got a spare belt up there, looks like. So we're about halfway done with this kit, tuning it. The reason I say halfway, because this is a 91 ED5 blend car. So based on what gas you put in it, is what it'll run. So you see that 53% right there, that's the amount of ethanol in it. Push the heat button for you, some more screens. This is kind of a like a go-to or walk around about how the boost settings and ethanol content functions. So as you can see, if you have 91 in it, it's gonna give you six pounds of boost and that's 228 wheel horsepower on this car currently. And if you start adding ethanol to it, you can just add it as you go. You don't have to drain the tank or nothing. So if you start adding E85 to it and you're at 25%, the ECU will automatically give you eight and a half pounds of boost, 256 wheel, as so forth as you keep going up. Four and five aren't done yet because we're only at 54%. So tomorrow you'll see we'll have our ethanol content clear up there about 85%. Showing you the full capabilities. That's just some of the like dash portions here. We got boost on the bottom right. Oil pressure as I was talking about earlier. Oil pressure cutoff. If the oil pressure falls below the threshold, shuts the motor off. For low oil, blown oil line, We've seen snapped off oil filters. I mean, you name it, whatever happens. RPM in the middle, mile an hour, gear position. Even got a backup camera, so when you're backing up, works pretty good. Lambda, that's the air fuel ratio that the motor is seeing there. As you can see, these stock batteries are not very good and they're on the flashing mark. But the boost setting thing that you've seen is that leftish number there. I'll go and change it with the turbo here. So we'll hit the turbo once and I go up. So that's boost setting one, two, three, four, five. If you're on 91 and you put it in setting five, it won't give it to you. It's only gonna give it to you what the motor can handle that I have set in it. So if you're on 91, your buddy gets in it, puts it to setting five, it won't go there. It'll only give you six pounds. But if you're on 80% ethanol and you don't need all the boost, you can turn it down to zero and save some gas and not burn all the tires off. So let's go ahead and give her a start and give it a run here. Show you some things. Probably get kind of loud. Let's we'll just use the start button because we can.
they've been going up for boost, so we charted horsepower at boost. Let's go ahead and just shut it down quick. I think it's pretty noisy. So as you can see by colors there we have boost and horsepower. So this thing's making 344 wheel horsepower at 14 and a half pounds of boost. That's pretty good for a stock motor, considering this thing made 165 wheel stock. So tomorrow we'll uh, add more to this video. We'll end up changing tires because these things were just starting to slip earlier on the low end. You'll be able to see some rubber on the ground down here. So we'll change the slicks and then stop spreading rubber all over the ground and turn her up. Well, see you tomorrow. All right, welcome back guys. It's not tomorrow, but it's second shift and we're gonna give her the hoopla. So as you can see, we have 67% ethanol and that unlocks setting five. I have updated the horsepower numbers here. That's what she's currently making. Give you a look at what the tires are showing us. So we went to the slicks. Stock tires were spinning a little too much, so slicks yielded some power. As you can see, that's still still peeling off rubber. But let's see if she makes the forward horsepower again. Turn our booster all the way up. Give her a start. So that's the numbers in order as I just ran them. You watched her. So this here's the stock motor for our turbo kit. Back there and show you that the motor has not been opened. This is a lower performance clutch kit. See that's no bolts have been jacked with there. Silicone still all factory, nothing's been changed. That is where we run most of our stock motor builds, right at 400 horsepower. Come get you one. These guys are ready to order and they're on the website. We can ship it. <laughs>